Hello everyone, Phoenix Feather here, and welcome back to some more L.A. Noir. It's been a while since I played this last, so I have no clue what's going on. This um, looks awfully familiar. Wait, did we already I think that's this? the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so yeah, far? Okay, Not I don't think... Trace yeah, we've done this before. Of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. I think I've seen it all. Okay, so. I don't think so. Not everything here is going to be relevant. No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. driver and our killer are mm. most likely one and the same. Nothing significant. It's five dollars. Pick that crap up and put it in your pocket. I'll call you when I know something. Meanwhile, get on with the case. No, he ain't telling how the telling the great Cole Phillips how to do his job. Cole Phillips. Cole Phillips solve any case, including how to get you fired. <laughs> Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I remember this. I'm yeah, I've been done it. Sorry. This is kind of like a refresher. Way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Just a moment. Superior Laundry. 
Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks, ma'am. Between Temple and Sunset. Let's find out the name of the lady first. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on it. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado, all the other. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern. End of conversation. Understand? KGB L20 Sentry in a, a citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any sentry in it identified. I ain't doing it. Stop. They can change back into those white boxes. Please, I have business to run. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register and you can take a look. Take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. I don't like your attitude. You wrote the number down that dress, is it there? F3. One three six three, okay. F three six three. This is T. Terrelson, forty three Emerald Street, Westlake. What now? Have a lead to find out from the husband. Yeah, I'd say we go to her place. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type, so a particular disposition for this stuff. Oh, look at the little tricycle and a rocking horse. Oh, no, there's kids. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. 
you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Terrelson? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. Hey, don't even... Don't even... I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson. Pretty up for the kids. Questions. Hammer it on home. Take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You want to hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. To check if she was a regular. I wonder why the picture was turned down. Oh. I don't think this is going to help us. Oh, well, it's her purse. She didn't have a purse with her. Seems irrelevant. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Sweet on this dive. If you'd excuse me, ladies. This isn't what we're looking for. Lars was out in the rain last night. She went out without her handbag? At least she was spared that particular indignity. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Hmm. the impression to the crime scene. Not looking good. with the ligature marks. Nothing. That's why I could get on the boat. For the record, Mr. Terrelson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. 
Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. So you don't know oh. anyone who would want her dead? No, I don't. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Ooh. Yeah, I think she was. I think you're in an unhappy marriage, Lars. I think you're lying, and you would like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? What proof do you have of that? Picture. Why is the picture not? Looks like I was mistaken. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you'd better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. Ooh, bad word. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30. Maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Why did you only report your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You'll need to go downtown Oopsie. to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, be given to broads, you'll be given into them your entire life. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks. Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Other than her seeing the hobo, there's no evidence that it was him. So I would rather check up on the bar first. To see if we can gain more information about where she was at last night. 
chicken come with fried tomatoes? Gents, drink. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On foot, in a car, by bus, how was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Therese. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. That broad has socks in it, Rosier. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap oh. said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. The husband said she wanted to go dance. I couldn't figure it she out. She always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates. That's him. LAPD. Don't make me chase you, shitbird. Ah, Can't crap. let the son of a bitch get away. Where's that goddamn waitress? Go, Phelps, get after him! How would have you moved your big ass? Come on, I'm rear end. Ride. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. the road. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're stickers for routine. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Ah! Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. this far. All right. All right. You got me. I've had enough. Give it up. LAPD. Okay, Bates. You're gonna have to <laughs> I don't think you would have survived that. I have a choice in this. 